what's up y'all this is my twist in life with poetry i am poetry and y'all y'all made me do it huh i said that i didn't want to do pntvs on topics that make me mad or upset or get on my nerves and i haven't did a pntv in a while one reason is because i put up too many videos on monday and youtube has this thing well, if you a small channel they don't like to see a lot of videos coming from you <laughs> So they kind of bury your channel in a, in the news feed, in the trending feed, or the recommended feed. Like, you could... Somebody just pulled out in front of me, y'all. Oh, did you see my car jerk? You could uh, go in sometimes and type somebody's specific name, and YouTube will not pull their video or their channel up. Because, you know... That's just how they operate. So I try to limit how many videos I put up in one day. Two is supposed to be my max. Until I get over a thousand subscribers. You know what? Uh, that's the only time that they uh, really think your channel has is about some shit. Is if you got over a thousand channel, a thousand subscribers. They can make more money off of you that way. Well, anywho, hey, like my videos. I get a limit a restriction put on my videos like the second they air so YouTube can tell me that their damn algorithm is uh has identified my video as a risky video when I just uploaded it your algorithm ain't went through the video that damn quick it's just so my shit is automatically restricted and like I said my, a lot of my damn subscribers don't even get my videos um but this is not about YouTube. This is a PNTV. Poetry's news and twisted views. And I'm on my way to work and I'm eating candy corn from Halloween. I'm on my way to work. So I figured I'll go ahead and do this. Damn it, I'm late. Mm. I don't like being late on a Monday. It's my longest work day of the week. And I ain't got no fucking water. Oh shit. Okay, so news what's going on Texas shooter the white dude who name I refuse to even look up because I don't want to put his name on my lips down in Texas went in and shot up another a church and of course the United States of America is not calling this white boy a terrorist as they should be and this is like the 10th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th shooting, mass shooting by um, a white terrorist that used the AK or AR-15 as the, um, the weapon of choice. Like, where the fuck are these motherfuckers getting all these AR-15s? What the fuck do you need them for? What do you need an assault rifle for? on the streets of a motherfucking America. This ain't prohibition days. This ain't the Civil War days where we in battle against one another, which we probably should be in battle against one another for some reasons. But what is the fucking purpose of you having an AR motherfucking 15 rifle? You ain't in the military. Hell, the fucking, the fucking police don't even need AR-15 rifles, in my damn opinion. If you got damn shot that fucking bad, you shouldn't be out there shooting. You should be able to do a, a hit, one hit and quit type of thing. Or get you a little six shooter or a nine mil and be done. But an AR-15, what you need that for? So, yeah. 27 people were killed in that church. I don't know if they were black or white or, or mixture. I didn't look it up. Um... And I didn't look up the story in detail because, like I said, I'm tired of being pissed off about the news and politics. Speaking of politics, yo dumbass commander in Chief Zero did some more impeachable shit. Bring your ass around the corner. I will fuck you up, bitch. All these, these motherfuckers acting real indignant up in St. Louis today with this driving shit. He did some more impeachable shit over the past week. And people got countdowns or 
his impeachment. They, um, a lot of people are, bring, uh, uh, I think Maxine Water said he's going to be impeached by December. I want to say she said 2018, so a whole other motherfucking year or some shit like that. I don't remember. Let me tell y'all. Commander in Chief Zero ain't going no motherfucking work. These motherfuckers voted that bitch in because of all the things that he said he would do and how he believed. And he has done no different than what he campaigned. So it's not like it's a fucking shock to me. If it's a shock to you, then you wouldn't pay attention to his ass when he was campaigning. So they knew what they was getting when they put his ass in office. Whether he did, did it by trickizations, I know that's not a real word, or he got voted in rightfully, <clears throat> he in there. That's what he wanted. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you my theory on it. This is my theory. Um, out of the candidates, I thought Bernie Sanders was the best one. Um, there was no fucking way I was throwing a vote behind Ben Carson on bitch ass. So Bernie Sanders was the best person in my opinion. If I had to go with anybody after Bernie, just at, I wouldn't have voted. But I wasn't a um, Bernie or Buzz type of person. I still believe in voting. So I still exercise my right to vote. I just voted for Jill Stein instead since uh, Bernie was out the running. Um, Because I did not believe in Hillary Clinton at all. I did not believe in Donald bitch ass at all. And I was refusing to give my vote to someone who I did not believe in at all. Now, I know people was like, you the fucking blame me. You the reason why he in office. No, bitches, y'all are the fucking blame. Because if y'all would stop voting out of fear and actually vote for who the fuck you believe in, then maybe we can get somebody that we believe in in fucking office. Okay, so this is my theory though. I believed that Zero was running in order to make Hillary win. But he they figured he would do the most stupidest shit that it would be a no-brainer that Hillary would win. But the problem was when Bernie joined the race late and then people started listening and liking him. So it turned so Hillary's camp turned the campaign real negative towards Zero's camp. And Zero has an ego fucking problem. Right? We all know this. So he said, okay, bitches, this is how y'all gonna fucking do me? Fine, fuck it. I'm running for real. So he stayed in the game. I bet you when that motherfucker won, he was as shocked as the rest of the world. But he was like, fuck it, I got it now. What? I did this shit. He pulled off the biggest sham in American history. <laughs> Not that I, I can't even call it the biggest. That's a, that's a, I'm using that as a metaphor. It was a simile or whatever. But he did some shit. Some unprecedented shit. And now y'all got that cockhead dickweed motherfucker in office I don't know what the fuck is he doing he not he ain't running the country he running the country down but that was that was I think that's part of his ploy too now that this bitch is in her they say let this motherfucker run it down so whoever we get next we gonna praise the fuck out of them that's exactly what's going on he gonna turn this bitch down so bad he gonna fuck America a new asshole so when we do shit again. <laughs> America will eat them pancakes up. Like they chocolate. Like they some chocolate shit pancakes. They gonna eat that shit up on a new person. Because they gonna think that the zero is so motherfucking bad. That whoever we get next is gonna be the shit's naive. So, um. It came out. It's been coming out. That the Don, Zero, supposedly used the Russians to help him win the election, I believe it. Um, and Donna Brazil, 
who was rooting hard for HRC. Finally came out and said, I know Hillary fucked over Bernie. We know this already. At least people who actually pay attention to politics. We know Bernie got fucked. Okay, I joined as a Democrat this summer when during the election time just to put Bernie in office. I was never a registered Democrat at all. I always remain independent. I voted how the fuck I feel, how the fuck I, you know, whoever I attracted to, that's who I voted for. I, I surprisingly have never voted Republican. Republican. On. I usually either vote Democrat, Green, or Independent. One of those three usually work for me. They usually sit well in my life. So, but I, I, in order for me to get Bernie in, because he didn't decide to run as an Independent, he ran as a Democrat because he needed that exposure. I signed up to be a Democrat. Okay? And I know during our Democratic committee, just how the people were going, people were in there trying to steal each other votes. Because It was myself and one other girl who was like watching the vote. There was no way out of our votes for our district, Bernie should have got um, six electoral votes, but somehow Bernie got one and Hillary got five, but she didn't win in our district. How the fuck did that happen? They told me it was based off of demographics and what communities voted. Get the fuck out of here. There was some foul play going on. There was a lot of shit that was uncovered that voting machines was tampered with. A lot of people's ballots was wrong. A lot of stuff was wrong. And even though people identified it, they never did shit about it here in Missouri. They never did shit about it. So I'm quite sure that it was happening in other places too. Uh, so yeah. Uh, plus I know a lot of voters were not uh, being allowed to vote, vote. People were being dropped off the registers. Yeah, they, you, you drop off the register if you don't vote in two consecutive votes. If you didn't know that, you automatically drop off the registers. You have to re-register. If you do not vote in two consecutive presidential elections, you are dropped off. If you didn't know that, now you know. So I had people that I know voted before that was trying to vote for burn or was trying to vote period and they were dropped off because they were not registered Democrats. Um, if you are like an independent or some stuff, you can vote however the fuck you want to vote in a presidential election. It's those small localized elections that you will only vote for your your um what do people call? Republicans, Democrats, Independents, Green parties, the parties. You can only vote for your party in the small localized elections. They, they ask you what party you in. You say Democrat. They give you a sheet for the Democrats and you can vote on the people. But in the presidential, you can vote for whoever the fuck you want to vote for. And so I know I got to vote non-democratic for the, the next two elections in order to get my name back off that fucking Democratic poll. Anywho. So yeah, Donna Brazil came out and said, yeah, Hillary fucked over Bill, um, Bernie and I got proof. Like I said, we know this. We know this. So, I'm not going to harp on that shit no more either. <laughs> um, I really did, like I said, I hadn't planned on doing a PNTV period for a while. When I come back in 2018, I will be doing them again, but I'm moving it to Friday because there's too many videos that I'm putting up on Mondays. There's too many videos I'm putting up on Mondays. So, and I don't think I do any on Fridays unless I got something late from Wednesday. So yeah, um, Tyrese, <laughs> Lord Jesus, take the wheel from that young man, take the wheel from him. Okay, y'all know in the last PNTV, I stated that I agreed with Tyrese when it came to the Fast and Furious movie as far as the character of Hobbs. I did not believe that the character of Hobbs deserved a standalone movie over any one of the other characters one being Tyrese and Ludacris' characters. I thought that they made a better storyline as far as writing is concerned. But The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, is a bigger name. And I can see how that will bring them more money to the franchise to step off and make a Hobbs movie. I just not I don't, I don't think I'm really I don't think I really care to see it, but since it's if it's part of the Fast and Furious franchise, then I'll go see it because I'm, I love the franchise. But if it's just ain't got nothing to do with Fast and Furious, I don't know if I want to see it at all. I don't know yet. I'm not one of the people that go see movies 
just because an actor is in it. I, so, well, that's not true. Sometimes I do. But anyway, so on that note, I was agreeing with Tyrese that the Hobbs movie should have been made. Um, I was on It's Rock's channel, and Rock's was telling me um, that Tyrese was um, a bitch, this, that, and other, and fuck what he's saying. He just being bitty, uh, p p petty and bitter, which is, I totally agree with Rox on that point. Tyrese is a bitch. <laughs> um, so, but people were like dogging the viewpoint that I gave about the character. My comment, um, she wasn't, Rox wasn't. It just, that was just, that's just started off the conversation. My comment again was about the character because of the franchise itself, about the movie itself, not about the actors. But as far as the actors are concerned, Tyrese with his fine ass, he like Ralph Angel to me. That motherfucker do so much stupid shit that he done became ugly. <laughs> Even though he's an attractive dude. It's chocolate ass. He's an ignorant motherfucker. Oh, uh, when it comes to I ain't even saying he, he's not unintelligent. He's not unintelligent. But he has an ignorance about him when it comes to his ego, the way he talks to and about black women. Um, I, I don't know where the fuck this shit came from, but uh, Tyrese, in over the past few weeks, has been keeping a name for his motherfucking self. I think he's one of them dudes that feel like that all publicity is good publicity. I don't care if it's bad or good. This motherfucker's getting bad publicity left and right. You know, he's been going in on the rock. He's been saying some ignorant shit to the rock. That, like I say, I didn't agree with the reason why he was saying it. I just agree with the, the in, in, in statement. He been acting a motherfucking fool. He been going through some issues with his ex-wife. I remember him using their marriage to dog out black women and, and before. And now... She ain't shit. She's supposed he's supposedly been beating this damn woman. He's supposedly been beating his damn kid. And the daughter is says that she's scared to be around him. At least that's what they are reporting to us. Um my personal opinion. I don't know. I just don't see it. I just don't see him being an abuser. I don't know why I don't see it. Usually I look at somebody and I first meet him, I'll be like, he's a white beater. I don't know. I, I could be wrong, though. I could definitely be wrong. <laughs> he's just a fuck. I know he's a, a fucking egomaniac. He he is control. He's a he's a verbal abuser, I believe, without a doubt. I don't know about the physical part. I don't know why the young girl thinks that um or she feels like she's been abused. I it, it may very well be there. It may very well be there. Oh, uh, I think they said she got spanked so hard that she left bruises on her. Uh, bottom once upon a time I'm I'm from the old school y'all I'm from the old school and shit that's how the fuck parents whooped your ass you, they, they left a mark hell my dog on preacher used to say make sure you get them around the legs and the the, the thigh area that's not going to be showing on, on their arms when you go to school people call that abuse they do most definitely if I hit your girl <laughs> So, I'm not sure what's going on with that. I don't know um, if there's been any turn of events with Nelly. I haven't followed back up on him. Whether or not he uh, is still being charged with rape of the young lady on the bus. But speaking of rape, all these entertainers are coming out. Speaking about their sexual assault. It started with the Harry Weinstein thing. And from the Harry Weinstein thing, a lot of women were saying... The men need to start speaking up. They wanted the men to start speaking up and start blaming themselves or pointing out themselves for the abuse. But what had happened was the men started stepping up and saying, I was abused too. And now it's just been a floodgate of stuff that popped up. All the way down to uh, Kevin Spacey down. <laughs> and all these different entertainers being accused of um, being abused in the industry. I'm going to tell you, I don't believe that anyone has not been abused in the industry. I'm going to say probably 1% of entertainers have not been abused in some kind of way. And I'm talking about sexually in the industry, whether you're talking about film or whether you're talking about music. 
I think that is just the way that the, the cookie crumbles up in that bitch. And now it's just all coming to the forefront. Um, Kevin Spacey has lost his TV show, House of Cards, on Netflix. I don't know if House of Cards is going to try to bring it back. I think they said they was canceling it all together. And a lot of people were like saying that um, it's because he's gay. Everybody tripped off the fact that Kevin Spacey is gay average person knew Kevin Spacey was gay but I think the problem is one of the articles I read is that Kevin Spacey was saying that that he assaulted or he didn't remember assaulting a young boy he was wilding out back in the day um why was this young boy at the same party with Kevin Spacey in the first fucking place that's my thing yeah I, I understand that the adults a lot of these adults are fucking predators on these kids why the fuck is your kid at this goddamn adult event that's the same thing I was saying with R. Kelly back in the day why the fuck all these there's no responsibility on the fact that your child is with these adults because you're trying to make money off these motherfuckers you're trying to make a name your damn self but still he said he don't remember it he he covered his ass by saying he don't remember because he was high and wild and all back in the day but one of the articles i read was saying that he was saying he if he did it he did so because he was gay and i do know that from the people i know that are gay a lot of them don't have an age restriction they fuck with young kids. And it's okay. Because it's almost like once you come out of being gay, that um, you seem to have a maturity about you for some reason. I don't know why. From what I've seen just in St. Louis, fucking around with young ass teenagers in the gay community is acceptable. And the fact that everybody making this big rah 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 thing, I heard like that ain't never happened. And they dogging Kevin Spacey about it. Bullshit. Y'all lying to y'all motherfucking selves and y'all trying to lie to us. Um, I've never found it acceptable, personally, but that's the way it's always been from the things that I've known in my 44 fucking years of life. I need to get to work because I'm super late and this is Monday. So, I'm going to wrap up this PNTV. Like I said, I wasn't even supposed to be doing one, but I'm going to go ahead and upload this while I'm at work so y'all can have one for the day. Comment! About anything that I said, your views on the AR-15 guns and the, the white terrorists and why the fuck is America not calling them terrorists? Because they white. Let's be honest. If you look up terrorists in the fucking dictionary, you Google that shit, it's going to say somebody of an Islamic nature. And they call a black person terrorist too if you go on a killing spree and start killing too many white folks. But they won't label white people terrorists. Like even the dude who did the, the is it McVeigh, blew up Oklahoma building. He was not a terrorist. They, they, you know, they'll label people of color terrorists. They will not label white people terrorists. Um, the Zero. He's impeachable offense. Y'all think they're going to get impeached for real? I don't think so. Um, what Donna Brazil had to say about Hillary Clinton stealing the election from Bernie. What y'all feel about that? And Tyrese. He been making videos, crying like a motherfucker. He done did like three, four videos breaking down crying. And people are laughing, making memes about it. And oh my God, Wendy fucking Williams passed out on stage in the middle of her show. I was watching on uh, Jamaica Nicole channel. And I had seen the clip right before I watched it. And it didn't look real to me. It didn't look real to me, except for the, when she actually fell. When she fell, there was no arms out. She didn't brace herself. That was a real fucking fall. But the initial movement, I wasn't sure if that was true. And listening to... Um, a few other reviewers talk about it. I was like, damn, that dude, a stroke does make sense. It looked like she may have had a stroke on stage. Now, I know she has vertigo. She's talked about that a lot on her show, that she has vertigo. Um, so that's why she don't like to wear high heels all the time. And she walks real slow. She doesn't take big steps because of the vertigo. Um, but she's blaming it on dehydration and being overheated. I don't believe that at all. I don't believe it at all. I have not did a follow-up on Wendy Williams because I forgot I was going to talk about that. So let me know what y'all think about that too as well. And thank you for coming back to my channel. This is PNTV. This is Poetry. I'm at work. I got to get in there before they, I lose my damn job. All right, y'all. Peace.